Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a little recap about um, these type of tumours. Now I'm, I would say a little bit more clear-headed but I'm really not. I'm really down and I've got about eight or nine days until my surgery and I'm feeling like crap uh, to be honest with you. But I appreciate that my first video was super emotional. And I didn't really know what I was going to do with that video. I didn't really want to post it. But I thought, to be honest, this is the the real shit. Like, this is, this is how I feel. And I'm not going to be faking it. I'm not going to look and act like I'm completely fine. Because I'm really not. Um, so, I thought that I would do a little, like, recap about these type of tumours. Um, because I know that a couple of people commented on it. And I really appreciate that. Like, I honestly didn't think that anyone was even going to watch it. But the fact that people have watched it and, you know, it's it's getting around and people are commenting on it, it just means a lot to me. So I really appreciate that. So thank you for that. But I thought, we'll just touch up on it again because, like I said, it was quite an emotional video and it didn't really make any sense. So my apologies for that. So what I'm talking about today is called a corroded body tumour. Or carotid body tumour, carotid, I'm honestly not sure how you pronounce it and I do apologise. Um, funnily enough, I can pronounce the proper name for it, which is a paragangliomia tumour. Um, yeah, so I'll go back to when it first started and I'll try and do this quite quickly um, because I appreciate I've already done a video on it. But, okay, so, I was, it was around, it was about, um, three years ago, I'd say three years ago, and I felt my neck for some random reason and realised that there was a really small, like, pea-sized lump in my neck. Uh, it wasn't painful at all, didn't even know it was there and unless I felt it, um, Honestly, it didn't, didn't bother me at all, so me being stupid, just left it. And, um, like I say, about three years went by, and I started to notice that it started to get bigger, but I honestly thought that it was just, like, fatty tissue. I didn't think it was anything to worry about because it wasn't painful, and I was fine in, you know, just general health I was fine. So I didn't think it was anything to worry about, so I didn't get it checked out. That's your first mistake. That's my first mistake. Um, so then my son got really poorly eh, and I took him to the doctors and the doctor said, oh, you don't sound very well, neither. So I was like, oh, I'm fine. And then she felt my glands and she was like, one of them is really high. And she looked at me like a, you know, like a little bit concerned. And I was like, oh, it's been on that for ages. And she was like, like the face just changed. And then we went for cancer tests and we went for all kinds of tests, we went for ultrasound for what I couldn't remember what it was called in my last video was an angiogram an angiogram I, don't know. I went for one of them a uh, blood test and MRIs a lot of MRIs and now we're at a stage where in about eight or nine days I'm going to have surgery to have it removed um this is it you can see it um it is literally from there to there. Like it is really big. Um, like this is the normal side, and then there's this. So yeah, it is really big. Um, and it is really painful right now. So. Um, the, the thing is though, I've had about, I've had tests for about, um, a year, but it's taken a year because I was pregnant with my fourth son. So, um, they had to wait basically to do any tests. So I couldn't really have any tests done, which is why it's taken, which is why it's taken so long. Um, the thing that I know about these kind of things, I have seen a, I'm seeing a specialist where I live in Sheffield, but I am going down to London to have my operation in Guy's Hospital. Um, the reason why I'm going down there is simply because um, 
they know more about these kind of tumours um, there are experts on these kind of tumours and um, yeah they just know more about them than they do up here and I had a really really bad experience uh, not relating to this but I had surgery before and it went completely wrong so I think that they're just taking like, extra extra care of me this time hopefully so um, yeah so that's that but the thing that I know about them is they they normally get them and no one actually knows why they're caused um no one knows which is strange really strange um so i had a letter come through the other day saying that these people were i think they work in guys hospital and or they work in like a science lab or something and they want to do tests on it but i've got to give my permission which to me seems really stupid because i'm like why would I want it? You know, once it's out, do whatever you want with it. You know, play football with it. Like, really gross, but just do whatever. Because I don't want anything to do with a bloody thing again. Like, <laughs> like you can keep it. Um, So, yeah, I'm obviously going to sign that so that they can do tests on it and hopefully figure out what causes these kind of things and etc. Um, oh, bloody hell. So, what was I saying? about these things you normally like young people like myself i'm 26 and we do get them obviously but you normally get them when you're like 50 60 over and when you're that age they i'm guessing they would probably recommend radiotherapy because the reason why i'm not having radiotherapy is because it can cause a lot of problems um especially with my age i've got a lot of time for those problems to occur if i have radiotherapy which is obviously going to be a really strong dose of radiotherapy um in one type of area and it's not very good it can cause like cancer and just loads of other problems when you get older so i've opted out for that and i've gone for the surgery option of completely removing it also if you have radiotherapy my specialist told me that the lump will stay the same size it won't shrink it um, which means I'll probably be in pain every day for the rest of my life. Also, with other problems that may occur further down the line. So, for me, surgery was like the last option I wanted to go for. But I thought that is the best option to go for um, as regards to my options, to be honest. The only reason why I didn't want to go for surgery is because I'm absolutely petrified. Like, I've never been this scared in my life, to be honest. And... Um, that is also with what happened to me before when I had surgery. I'm just really, 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 really scared. And uh, obviously would avoid surgery at all costs. But obviously with this I can't. So, um, and if you do get them before you're like 50 or 60 or whatever, then they're normally hereditary. I've had tests and mine isn't. So I guess I'm just unlucky. Um, but I'm glad that it's not hereditary because I don't want my boys to get it. Um, that's uh, pretty much it. They're not, they're not normally painful and they're normally really, really slow growing tumours. Um, they can be cancerous and they could, they could turn cancerous, which is another reason why I'm having it removed. Um, and that's pretty much all I know really. Like I said, I've got surgery in about 89 days time. If you get any lumps, please go and get them checked out straight away. Do not wait. Do not let life take over. Just get them checked out straight away. Um, this will be my last video that I'm doing before surgery. Because I'm just feeling really, really down. And I have not much to say apart from I feel like crap. I feel really down. Um, so the next video will definitely be after my surgery, hopefully. And hopefully everything will be fine. Um, I will keep you guys updated. Like I said, my surgery is in about eight or nine days time from now. Um... So as soon as I can, I will update you guys on my recovery, hopefully. Um, and hopefully everything will be okay. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching my video. I hope this has cleared up some stuff and it went as emotional and messy and stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching my video. And please, if you have any lumps, no matter what, where they are, get them checked out. It's really important. So thank you. This was my video on paragangliomia tumours or carotid body tumours or carotid body tumours. So thank you for watching my video. It really means a lot. Take care.